I'm an artist working predominantly in clay. Over the last 15 to 20 years, I've been making things that question my role as a maker and why in particular clay was so important. One of these series that I was working on over 15 years was um, a series called Imagination Dead Imagine that was um, a group of kind of quasi-devotional objects that I made at varying points to manage my mental health or to question why I was making. One of these was a porcelain hairball that I carved for two years with pins to manage a nervous breakdown that I had. Another body of work that's run concurrently alongside that was the series called Time for Waste. It was made from all of the waste products of everything I'd ever made. I would then keep all of the dust from sanding all those blocks and their literal still lives, their fired dust, part colour studies, part odes to certain artists who I love. As part of my ceramic residency at the V&A, I've been looking at the link between mental health and creativity and how I've managed my own mental health over the years with making. I did that initially through looking at part of the print and drawing archives and translating some of those techniques fairly straightforwardly into clay. To replicate some of Leonard Baskin's uh, woodcuts, I've been using ceramics like it's a wood block, carving through black porcelain on top of white porcelain to get very simple uh, wood block cut effects. That then was less interesting to me as the waste products from all of those shavings that I carved off, which I then fired. I realised I could make mobiles out of them, uh, so using the paint itself as a hanging point for the mobiles to hang on, which then linked back to some of the drawing practice of Aubrey Beardsley. That then led on to me being more interested in using the clay like a painting method, building up large quantities of a very thick slip, the consistency of meringue, scraping with it, um, pushing into it the, the materiality of the clay, self-dictating the form of the finished piece of work. That, in a way, linked to some of my own thought process around how ceramics can mirror the subconscious and why ceramics in particular is useful within art therapy. Um, it's something that can be impressed upon and uh, talks back to you as much as you talk to it. And for me, that's because it contains dead matter and the living. All of that process of using the clay like paint was just one of the outcomes that I've been looking at while I've been here. Others have been a form of anxiety tiles, managing my own anxiety whilst I've been here. I've also been keeping the dust from the floor of the studio over the last nine months, sweeping it every couple of weeks as a kind of record of all of the making that I've done over my time here. And that's become the latest version of the Time for Waste series. I think the Residency was probably never going to be about final results or making a completed series of work. Um, I kind of wanted to get lost in the processes and the researching and I feel like I've got quite an amazing body of information that I can now take and use in whatever I do beyond here.